given the vector field f, we want to determine if the vector field is conservative or not. If it is conservative, we want to determine the potential function and then use it to evaluate a line integral. For a quick review, if we know a vector field is conservative, it will make evaluating a line integral much easier. The integral of a conservative vector field is path independent and only depends on the endpoints. A vector field f is called conservative if there exists a gradient of some scalar function such that the vector field f equals the gradient of the function f. The function f is called the potential function of the vector field f. If p and q have continuous partial derivatives on an open disk R, then the vector field f with components p and q is conservative if and only if the partial of q with respect to x equals the partial of p with respect to y. If a vector field is conservative, then we can determine the potential function by integrating p with respect to x and q with respect to y. And then once we determine the potential function, looking below, we can use it to evaluate a line integral by simply using the two endpoints of the curve. Going back to our first example, notice with the vector field f, we have p equals 2x plus 5y, and we have q equals 5x minus 3y. Let's check to see if it is conservative by checking to see if the partial of q with respect to x equals the partial of p with respect to y. The partial of q with respect to x is the derivative of 5x minus 3y with respect to x, treating y as a constant, which is 5. The partial of p with respect to y is the derivative of 2x plus 5y with respect to y, treating x as a constant, which notice is also equal to 5. So because the partial of p with respect to y equals the partial of q with respect to x, we now know the vector field f is conservative And if f of x comma y is the potential function, the vector field f equals the gradient of the function f, which remember has components, the partial of f with respect to x comma, the partial of f with respect to y. Which means we now know the partial of f with respect to x equals p, which is 2x plus 5y, and the partial of f with respect to y equals q, which is 5x minus 3y. Which indicates we can determine the potential function by integrating the partial derivatives. f of x comma y must equal the integral of p with respect to x, which is 2x plus 5y with respect to x. It must also equal the integral of q with respect to y, which is the integral of 5x minus 3y with respect to y. Using these two antiderivatives, we can then determine the potential function. Integrating 2x plus 5y with respect to x, we treat y as a constant. The antiderivative is 2 times x squared divided by 2, or x squared, plus Integrating 5y with respect to x, we have 5y times x, or plus 5xy, plus not a constant, but a function of y. We're only recovering the x part of the potential function when we integrate with respect to x. And now we integrate 5x minus 3y with respect to y, treating x as a constant. The integral of 5x with respect to y is 5xy, minus integrating 3y with respect to y, we have 3 times y squared divided by 2, or 3 halves y squared. This recovers the y part of the potential function, but not the x part. So we have plus a function of x. And now we compare these two antiderivatives to form the potential function. The potential function f of x comma y must have an x squared. It must have plus 5xy. It must also have minus 3 halves y squared. And then we have plus a constant of integration, which we'll call k. So now going back to our original question, we know the vector field is conservative, so we select this option, and the potential function f of x comma y, again, is x squared plus 5xy minus 3 halves y squared, and the plus k is already entered. For the second part, if the vector field f is conservative, use the potential function f of x comma y 
to evaluate the line integral along the curve C of f dot dr along a simple closed smooth oriented curve C. Because we have a simple closed smooth oriented curve, the starting point and ending point would always be the same, and therefore when we determine the potential function values and then find the difference, shown here, the difference would always be zero. This is one of the properties of a conservative vector field when determining the value of this line integral. Let's take a look at one more example. Same question, different vector field. So again, we have p equals x to the fifth, y to the fourth, and q equals x to the fourth, y to the fifth. Again, to check to see if the vector field is conservative, we check to see if the partial of q with respect to x equals the partial of p with respect to y. Well, the partial of q with respect to x equals the derivative of x to the fourth, y to the fifth with respect to x, treating y as a constant, which would give us four x cubed times y to the fifth. And now we find the partial of p with respect to y, which is the derivative of x to the fifth, y to the fourth with respect to y, treating x as a constant, which would be x to the fifth times four y cubed, or four x to the fifth y cubed. Notice in this case, the partial of p with respect to y does not equal the partial of q with respect to x, and therefore we're done. The vector field is not conservative, and we select the first option. I hope you found this helpful.